some moments are different. We had different upcoming technologies coming up for the last few years. But we haven't seen different text evolutions I don't know history. And today, we're seeing the beginning of a new revolution. We have it right in front of our eyes. As a kid growing up in Argentina, I always used to read books and watch documentaries and TV shows about all those text revolutions in our history. You know, things such as the expansion of train networks or the bit of the internet. Um, I just felt like, man, I hope I ever get the chance to at least see one of those revolutions in my lifetime. Today, I can say that I'm very lucky to not only be able to witness one, but to be part of one. I've been helping many companies raise capital to use this technology into their startups, raising over 100 million for different companies to use this technology. So, what is this technology? It's blockchain. That's what I'll be talking about today. I'm very excited to tell you more about blockchain and what it means for your future. But first, let me take you back a few years and help you remember a few events. So, do you remember what you did on January 1st, 1984? It was a nice, sunny Monday morning. Well, actually, I wasn't even born yet, but I do know that it was an important date, because that day was the birth of the Internet. The way we interact with our people, with our friends and families, change. But I think that this only not allow us to have a better communication, but it also create new patterns of communications and new ways that we can share and classify information. So you probably recognize something like this, or sending short texts with our friends on Twitter or images on Instagram, or creating private networks with our friends on Facebook. All of that is pretty fun and looks harmless, but I think that with any kind of new technology, there is always this chance that this new technology will be used for the wrong reasons. So, I want you to imagine about the future, to think about the world in 50 years from now. Because so far, we mostly see the consequences of the power of governments from their physical power. But in 50 years, governments could have more digital power than ever. So, this means a lot of things, because, for example, governments will be allowed in a way, or they have the power in a way to limit your liberties, and limit your freedom of your speech, or your communications, or even access to your money. If we don't do anything about this, we're going to have a war where you may not enjoy the liberties we enjoy today, if we don't do anything about this, we could be going towards a different path to a dehumanized or willing war. So, I think this is a very scary thing for us, but I also have very good news for you, for two reasons. First of all, we have different upcoming technologies that will create a huge positive impact into our quality of lives, and second, because we already have one technology that can create a world that is more fair, open, and transparent. So, we can use blockchain for this. But what is blockchain anyways? So, it's a very easy concept to explain. It's basically a public registry where transactions are stored. Um, its main feature is that it's a decentralized system. So, it's not stored into only one server, but it gets replicated into everyone who uses the network. And this is a big thing. For example, 
cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin use this kind of technology for their use. With this means is that Bitcoin can be hacked or stopped by any authorities or any governments. It's the centralized nature that those cryptocurrencies use is what created the trust, that they have no or trusting parties or third parties involved into the transactions. But I also want to highlight that we can use this technology for many or reasons um, or important things in our world. For example, I want you to imagine again, I want you to imagine about a world where you own your own hair records, that you own your own information, and that no one else can get it. Or a world when you can store your own money in a digital wallet without any or trust in Paris, or a world where you can see and verify the spending of a government from your computer live and they are being spent. Because I, I believe that we all deserve that kind of transparent and open source information about the different organizations that we work with and that are part of our lives. So I really want you to think about a decentralized world, which is no longer an utopia. We can build a society where we have no trusted entities. And that we all should be thinking about decentralization as a world, not only as a kind of organization, but also be thinking about all the different things that we can do and that Centralized organizations are part of the past. So I would like to sum up the future with this quote that I made. Everything that can be blockchain will be blockchain. And let me repeat that. Everything that can be blockchain will be blockchain. Having this new trust in digital leisure, which is an early word for blockchain, will bring us to a new golden age, the golden age of blockchain. We will see that the use of cryptocurrencies and crypto assets will revolutionize the world in ways that we can't even predict yet. We also have to think about the importance of gender equality into this new industry, because today, only 5% of the participants in the blockchain industry are women. So this is something that we should really care about and that we should really encourage women to join this revolution and this new industry so that it doesn't get to dominate into one gender in the future. Um, I'm still very optimistic about this because the industry is so young and there aren't so many people involved yet so I believe that we can definitely do a lot of work in there, but uh, we should really encourage women to join the revolution right now so it doesn't get a problem in the future. So one thing about blockchain and cryptocurrencies is that its technology adoption rates are kind of slower in some places. Um, regulations can really change the speed of adoption of a new technology. Um, some countries have been taking notice of this golden age and already started adopting blockchain technology into their countries. So, you know, probably you have it here about this, but Estonia uses many blockchain systems right now. Um, they've been implementing blockchain solutions into their system since 2013, um, they are supposed to save a lot of time every year by using blockchain into their systems. They are supposed to save about 800 years in one working year. So that's a lot of time. But I'm standing here in Switzerland where there has been a crypto valley located in SAC created by many blockchain startups where they get to network, um, promote the whole crypto industry, and help each other projects.
We also have Japan and Singapore, which are two leading countries that believe in this revolution in another part of the world. Um, for example, Japan made Bitcoin legal tender in 2016, and they have a big adoption rate in there. And also Singapore been supporting so many blockchain startups to set up in the countries. We will see that those countries will see big benefits in the next few years because it will create so many shops and opportunities for the citizens. And not only economically, but also socially. Because the countries that implement cryptocurrencies and blockchain fears will definitely perform better than the other ones in the long run. So I guess you're seeing that we can all do several things to make this golden age happen and we need it as fast as possible. To government officials, I will say, regulate, but don't kill. Find uses for blockchain that can be applied to the current frameworks. It doesn't need to immediately disrupt, but it's a big opportunity for every nation to be pioneers in this technology. To young people sitting here or listening to this talk, Use this technology to create a world that you would like to live in. Because we all have ideas of what our world should be like. Our world should really create or support projects that follow what we truly believe is right. So going back to when I was a kid, watching all those documentaries and TV shows about all those tech revolutions, I was so excited about the past and thinking about the future. And I hope that you have some of that excitement now because the, the future is very, very bright. It's really bright than ever. So if you remember only one thing from this talk, I want you to think about the future and that everything that can be blockchain will be blockchain. The only question is when. Thank you.